Hey, this is Steve. I'm the co-founder of Zag Network. We are a SocialFi network project built on Web3. Come check, it, check us out on our website, www.zag.network and follow all our socials if you can. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is our weekly vlog number 11. And today I will be talking about the strength of the community. I think one of the things that I've noticed over the years is that um, particularly maybe the younger generation, they want to belong uh, as part of a community. Maybe it's a, it's a gaming thing, I don't know. But uh, what we've seen uh, in the last year or so, uh, maybe since COVID, is that people are, are keen to be part of a community and deriving strength from the community. So um, that's going to be an interesting topic. Um, a couple of examples that I can give you. Oh, by the way, I'm driving, so um, I might not be looking at you in the camera all the time, but uh, if I come to a traffic light or whatever, I will. Um, I'm watching the roads. Um, so if, if you look at what's been happening in, in recent history, uh, one phenomenon is the Wall Street bets uh, community. So basically, um, I would say maybe about a year and a half ago during COVID times, um, th th uh, a Reddit group called Wall Street Bets, made up of just normal Joes and, and Janes, uh, they, they got together, they, they talk about uh, the stock market, um, they, they share information about the stock market. And what they did was uh, mind-blowing. So uh, they went against the big banks like the JP Morgans and the Goldman Sachs of the world. Um, and uh, they, they, when, when the big banks were shorting a stock like Game, uh, GameStop, they went the other way. Uh, they, they decided to uh, get together as a community to kill off the, the big banks and basically when uh, the when the big financial institutions were shorting GameStop they longed it uh, as a result uh, resulting in a short squeeze and killing off uh, some of the big banks so that's one example another recent example that happened in the crypto world is um, because of all the US regulations around crypto and because of um, the current market sentiment with uh, uh, US interest rates and things like that, um, the crypto market has been sort of either trending down or trending sideways, uh, particularly the price of Bitcoin. So crypto people being degens that we are, um, we, we, we wanted something to, to get the heart racing again and, and to make some money, of course. So uh, about three weeks ago, an anonymous team launched the Pepe coin. Uh, Pepe, as some of you might know, is the symbol of resistance and some say alt-right group uh, that's, uh, that, that resides in the Reddit community. So basically it's a picture of a frog. You can Google it and, and the picture of a frog will come up. Pepe, P-E-P-E. -E. So Pepe coin launched about three weeks ago, or slightly more than three weeks ago. And in the space of that time, the price of the coin just shot up. So basically, if you invested, you know, a couple of hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks into Pepe when it launched, your Pepe coins would be worth a couple of million in the space of a couple of weeks. It's pretty crazy shit, right? But, you know, it's fun. People are having fun with it. Uh, uh, most people made money. Some people lost money. But it's all about the strength of the community and and um, and that can be sort of brought forward to anything that we build today particularly when the younger generations the the, the millennials and younger are participating in it um, the the community can can change the market 
right? So, yeah, so that is something that I've noticed um, that's trending. Um, and it's not like the old days where, you know, uh, Gen X or baby boomers need to rely on stockbrokers and uh, financial institutions to give them financial advice. Oh, by the way, this video is not financial advice. I'm, I'm just, you know, sharing my thoughts with you. Um, yeah, so that's what I, I've noticed about uh, what's been happening in particularly the, the investment world that is very, very much driven by uh, community. And community also drives adoption. So when you're building a technology project like Zag, um, you know, ultimately, you know, we can build the best tech, we can build the best platform. Um, but without the community, Zag is not going to take off. So uh, uh, hence, we are, on one hand, we're very bu busy building the Zag platform and, and, and the tech stack. On the other hand, we're spending a lot of time and, and some marketing dollars to build a community. Um, oh, back to the Pepe example. Um, you know, they got up to 100,000 wallet holders or people that bought Pepe coins in the space of three weeks. And that's, that's remarkable. I mean, and the adoption rate is remarkable. So yeah, there you have it. Strength of the community. That's what it's all about. So thank you for joining us. And I look forward to having a chat with you next week.